Hello everybody, I'm here with the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to the New Order of the Last Days of Europe and to the Republic of Ireland, where today we're probably going to do another 30 minutes of reading. <laughs> I really hope not. Sorry about last episode being, well, we didn't progress very far, did we? Um, anyways, we're going to look at the German funding right now. I'm just going to go ahead and build a civilian factory, well, fund a civilian factory uh, for the time being. I'm not too bothered about the military factory. I'm also going to begin a construction project in, uh, well, the province that Dublin's in. And we're going to make it... Uh, let's go ahead and do civilian industry. So now we have 400 days to build a civilian factory. On completion, we increase the investor approval and increase the uh, presence in the economy by five. Our GDP will grow. And if we... Abandon it, it's not going to be good. And also, if we fail, then um, yeah, their approval goes down. So, we're wanting this approval to go up. I think we, the presence will go up as well, possibly. I don't know. I, I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. But let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't even realize we actually had a wee navy. Thomas McKenna. Um, civilian factory. Let's go ahead and start construction one. Does it matter where, as long as one's built? So what we'll do is, where is the production like Dublin? It's going to take two years to build. Yeah, that's not good. Boys will be boys. Finally, we've done the second focus. Audrey McCormack dreaded, uh, dreaded her walk home from her work at the, grocer, uh, at the grocery each day. Not for the distance. It wasn't too far, really. Nor did she uh, dread it because of the scenery. The city streets of Dublin were actually quite nice. No, the reason she hated her walk home was because of the certain construction yard she passed by every day on her right. The main work in the yard, though Audrey would sooner call them pigs, had grown infatuated with her, and would often loiter around the entrance to the yard to a drunken stupor, trying to woo her with their supposed manly charm. Oh, wolf whistling, probably. Standing up for herself and only had only intensified their efforts, and no one had been willing to help her no matter who she complained to. Boys will be boys, was always the answer. She tried to duck her head as she walked past the yard, but it was no use. The pigs were out in full force today and they spotted her at once. Hey, there she is, you can hear one of them slur. Why not come spend some time with us today, gorgeous? Audrey sighed, resigned herself to the inevitable. She ignored the cat calling as best she could, as always. Boys will be boys, she told herself. She had gone to police once to complain about the harassment. It's certainly not illegal to tell women she's pretty on the street, one had told her. I tried to think of it as a compliment. Always will be always, after all. That had been the first and last time she had gone to them with her concerns. Audrey stiffened as one of the men slapped her in the rear as she passed by. She turned around, cheeks flushed in anger and embarrassment, and was met only by roaring laughter as the men patted themselves in the back. Audrey turned and walked away, a little bit faster, a little bit lesser. Blinked away tears, she tried her best to ignore the jeers and whistles from the yard behind her, and there was nothing more she could do. Boys will be boys, after all. Okay, that was an interesting little uh, event there. For decades, our Teosic de Valera. Oh yeah, by the way, I've not uploaded, well, I've made the first episode public, so if I have got any pronunciation wrongs and you've told me that they're wrong, I apologise, but the next episode, well, this episode's also going to have them if I'm wrong. Anyways, and now the incumbent Le Mans have kept the Republic of Ireland running relatively smoothly under the leadership of the Fianna Fáil. Sure, there have been hiccups requiring us to make deals with Irish flavour, which we would really rather would not have made, as well as doing some shady political practices. But Fianna Fáil still governs. Sure, the political opposition may cause a corrupt cesspool of political violence, but they fail to understand the nuance of the position we find ourselves in. Ireland sits on a knife edge, balanced between political pressure from Germany and gr growing Ital uh, Italian Irish nationalism, and calls for a complete political independence, and tensions from rogue paramilitaries and terrorist organisations in Ulster. Only Fianna Fáil has been able to keep Ireland from falling apart at the seams. Only Fianna Fáil will continue to be able to do so. This is why we must continue our governance at all costs. So we're against political power, some stability. We can bring bills to the Dale and the decisions tab, and it modifies humiliation of the giant by daily political power gain plus 0.25. All right, so it's still going to be 0 minus 0 0.25, but at least it's not as bad as that. So our investment. It's not great. We could always do this. 
And I think that should increase consumer goods goes down and increase the construction speed. Yeah, it's still going to take ages. I'll just use all of the German funding on civilian factories. I feel like that is going to be the most beneficial thing to do with that funding. Has our construction speed been hit or something? It just seems like, oh, construction speed minus 10. Yeah, okay, that would have explained it. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's Scotland up to right now? Aid the English bill. Where do you think you're going? McTiernan, badge number 2378, the young guard officer said as he showed his identification to the checkpoint. checkpoint. I'm here to patrol the neighbourhood. The senior guard officer looked at the identification and said, You don't know how this works, do you? I'm sorry, sir. Your neighbourhoods are no-go zone. Your neighbourhoods are no-go zone. The UVF is too strong in this area. If you go on alone, you won't come back. All law enforcement activity is suspended and we have strict orders not to go inside with all precautions. No law enforcement? But how do we keep it under control? UVF does mostly, said the senior guard officer. They take care of the small stuff, like kneecapping drug dealers and making sure nobody does any serious hooliganism. And if we absolutely have to go in, we can do it with some armoured cars and soldiers. But walking around the park pulling your billy club is not going to happen. Then what do I do if my neighbourhood is run by the, uh, the proddies? Go back to HQ and play cards until the next car bomb. And maybe your landlord will drop your rent if you agree to walk around their properties while in uniform. That's all I have to offer, Sonny. Sometimes 26 and 6 don't make 1. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've still got 4 million of German funding left. Let's get to 3 more, well, 2 more civvies now. And once we've done this, we can do the IECC bill. And we can also do the finance bill. There's a lot of bills by the look of things. Yeah, they're all bills. We send some weapons to the NCSZ. Labour Protection Bill on the people's side, public approval. Okay, we're doing a lot of bill stuff for the now. Okay, let's go ahead and just do it on the people's side, just to get the political power, the stability, and some public approval. A democracy runs in the will of the people. This means that a good leader in democracy should hold the same opinions as the people he rules over. In this respect, Sean Lamas is a great leader. Lamas listens to the people he governs, structuring policy but based on their most immediate needs. If the people want a new bridge over the River Shannon, then Lamas will get the funding to build the bridge. If the people want a strong military to protect them, then Lamas will make their military strong. If the people want to remove protections from Irish Protestants, then, well, Lamas certainly won't oppose removing these uh, removing said protections. This is what the people want, after all, and doing what the people want will keep them voting Fianna Fáil at the polls and make sure that everyone knows Sean Lamas is on their side. Well, we've cancelled out that negative construction speed. How's it doing now? Are we going to finish it a little bit earlier, September 6th, 1963? Well, got a couple more factories to grab. Fun the city. Now, I do want to actually start dealing with the paramilitaries as well. I think we should take the uh, take all the weak link first because they're weakening. So let's the R I R A. So this will bring down their power, but it'll increase their anger. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to raise the um, officer salaries as well, just to keep them friendly and just you know, just 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 help out, help out. Anyways, R I R A terror smoke rises over Protestant Ulster. R I R A Northern Ireland's most confident and. Um, Enigmatic paramilitary organization made a showing of dominance today, setting off a concealed satchel bomb made from German military ordnance in a protested Protestant neighborhood on Belfast, wounding several and leaving several Anglo Ulster citizens in critical position. The brutal efficiency of the attack was marked by the trademark silence of the RIRA, spraying, spray painting their flag near the bomb site, but otherwise saying nothing. So that just weakened. Weakening. Are they at 40%? Let's increase the power, is it not? Uh, I want to do a route out some more corruption. Yes, they like us not that corrupt. That's good. Not that corrupt. Oh! 
Imagine you're a giant. Oh god, they're adding so much stuff here. Current bill, there's no current bill, new, no bill in the bail. A new bill needs to be drafted. This is current stage. Okay, we're cooperating with them, hardliners, the LP, we're not cooperating with the Liberals slightly. What the hell? There's too much going on. Um I guess it doesn't really matter what we start with. I'm gonna go with the finance bill first, I think. Despite how we may seem to the rest of the world and the efforts of the TSIC, the Republic of Ireland remains functionally a democracy. The mass, like all leaders in the democratic system, cannot simply spend Ireland's money as he sees fit. We must seek the support of the deal. Iran? 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 I, I don't know how to say that. The Irish Parliament to pay for the various projects he has envisioned. Our Minister of Finance, Jack Lynch, has proposed the budget for the fiscal year, leaving it much the same as last year's, but with one key difference. Irish businesses will be subsidised at the expense of the German mega corporations. Lynch has done about as well as he could be expected with his proposal. Now it's time for the TL6 to get to work and push the proposal through the deal. So, okay. Despotism. Party leader. Redacted. Okay. We don't we don't want the real Irish Republican army taken over. Definitely not. Who's this party here? Fine Gale, there's the Liberals. The Mass Heights, okay. Good. Um make the bill more radical. Uh, bill hasn't, hasn't been changed. The bill replies, but lose three for the hardliners, I think. For the TDs. Eh. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Calling the left wing bill an injustice and a travesty. Several members of the right have quite vocally denounced both the bill and the lean, left leaning members of government. Our pool, our pool of support for this bill has dropped somewhat drastically. We may have a bit more trouble getting the hardliners on site in the future. How do I know if it's going to go through? We gain numbers that way, so. Right now, 16. That's a corporation. Oh my days, there's so much stuff. Cooperate. I get them on site. Oh, there's, there's so much. I've got economy, like industry to build up. Which we're kind of. Mm. Right, let's spend the last of our German money. As a result of our recently proposed bill, the left wing of our government have taken a greater share of the limelight. This has brought them forward to become more, much more prominent within the government and will likely allow them to exercise great power over Ireland in the future. When their rivals who surely are displeased with the turn of events. Oh, we bloody empowered the left wing now. Oh, for God's sake. I've right, got no more funding from Germany. The fourth stage. Um, interactions. Empower. Encourage. And cooperate. Okay, okay, we're we're getting we're winning over people. We're winning over people. That's what we like. That's what we like. Oh, current bill is still going through its process. Make the bill more radical. Let's not do that. De-radicalize it. Radicalize it again. Oh, and Burgundy is doing their thing. That's cool. So is this the public approval? Who's fifty-nine percent of power? Oh, left-wing power and right-wing power. We keep that kind of balanced. Perfectly balanced. Yeah. Cool. Now I was wondering if you could actually win, but I don't think it I don't think you can as the uh, the PRC. I don't think you beat Menjang, but that's fine. Now we know that's the case. Okay, come on Bill. You can pass. 277 days. How are we doing construction wise? Yeah, that's more than 277 days. Um, at least the bill's passed. Oh, construction speed for increased construction speed. Nice. 
Once the government's ministers have felt relief after their hard work, the government's bill has passed through the ordeals of the Irish lawmaking and secured a majority of deputies' votes. A copy has since been sent to the President and signed into law in this particular tussle between the members of the government. Such an outcome must not be taken for granted. Successfully passing legislation through the deal is well known to be the exception, not the rule. Though the passing of this new bill is um, certainly will help the government build more confidence amongst the people of Ireland, who are always grateful for some sort to change. However, as encouraging as this development may be, the government does not have time to celebrate its victories. The political alliances and rivalries inside the deal still pose a threat to the uncertain government. The unending trails of restraining the deal shall inevitably go on for a while longer. Yet there is hope that with the passing of a new act, Ireland is one step closer to genuine change and a brighter future. Okay, we got that for a year. So that's not really helping construction speed though. We still actually got that on, so uh, probably gonna have to ask them to extend it. Let's do the pollution control bill. As 1962 dawns, the world itself finds itself in a precipice. Precipice. The Hawaiian Missile Crisis, H's ailing health, and the threat of global thermonuclear war finds the world cowering in fear, awaiting the end. Life goes on, however, and Fianna Fáil continues to govern for the good of the people of Ireland. On a docket now, the, the issue of pollution. The Tidana members of the Irish Dale have found that the oh the Tidana, the enormous amount of pollution created by the factories of German mega corporations, a large problem to their constituents. The solution: a bill has been proposed that would impose regulations on these factories, force them to get to at least put a token effort into cleaning up after themselves instead of simply dumping their refuse into our rivers and skies. This will likely annoy the mega corporations, but this is what the people want, and it's high time to remind them that this is Ireland, not the Reich. That is very true. And there goes the Italian faction. Push back the deadline on the project. Do it. I need, I need, we don't have any money. Oh no. Hmm. Where do we use this all? Where do we use the funding? Oh, we have to just. Oh no, we need to get that out. Ah, oh, dear. Maybe we should have thought that through before starting it. I could request funding, but. Alright, let's actually go ahead and. Reduce the police. I think for the most part this bill will pass. Should do. Let's do some construction because I do need to get the economy booming. Alright, that's War in the Desert happening. After weeks of debating, uh, controlling, coercing, and compromising, we have gotten precisely nowhere. Ability to pass this bill for the deal is predicted, uh, predicted on when the support of Fianna Fáil's hardline conservatives and De Valera's loyalists. But they are refusing to budge on the matter. Even if we moved even an error, they say they would never vote for the bill as it currently stands. There are a few things that they say would change their minds. Unfortunately, those things are, were a list of alterations to the bill that would mould and neuter it to fit their agendas, as well as assorted pet causes for their constituencies they wanted enforced. Some of the demands were a bit ludicrous, but they're aware of how desperate we are for their votes and are willing to writing as much out as they can. They can. Sure we can accept their ultimatum and get the bill passed in some form, but it would be at a severe displeasure of Yana Fale's reformist wing, not to mention our coalition partners in Labour. Is it worth risking burning bridges? Uh... Yes. Well, empower the right wing. It's gonna anger some boys, but I'm gonna have to take it. The bill passes. 
For once the government's ministers have felt relief after a heart. Okay. I'm gonna have to win over some guys again, I think, possibly. What the left has left? As it happens every year, we must review the state of welfare in Ireland. Recently, we've had to deal with an increase in job protection due to the current state of our economy. While the Liberals are the smallest group in the party, a large part of our support rides on Labour supporting us as well. If we want to continue to keep their support, we need to make concessions to them. There's been quite the issue recently with women's rights in Ireland. The Liberals have begun to improve their rights and begin to pass laws making them equal to men, giving them a large rise in support. Along with the increase in public transportation for children to get to school, while many of us disagree with the issues that the Liberals fight for, we cannot risk a coalition. We should find we should send this welfare bill through the Parliament to see if we can maintain our coalition. Hopefully it will hold. Do you know what else is not going to happen though? I can have P off our investors. I don't have any money and we're not going to bloody make it. We're not even halfway yet. pee off our uh, investors but oh well I don't know how we spent all that money anyways let's go down to the NIC and see if we can maybe yes yeah, let's go ahead do that and do that they like us a lot perfect oh how bloody dare they? Oh, I forgot they were actually trying to pass this through. Okay, we encourage some more to join our cause. That's good. Sure, eerie. Difficult, okay. Let's repress them. No, they're displeased. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with them one way or another, so... Oh, you're displeased. Well, stop it. I don't see, I don't know how long the extension would get us. Right, stop it, request London. Okay, five million. Extend. Oh. 310 days. Oh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna get a bolt. Good, that was way worth it. Um, yeah, let's grab batch production methods. The right calls for a stream. Oh my days, the government has faced a great deal of difficulty with passing the bill it is presently working on its conform. Obviously, you have from both the left and right of the party. What you be dealt with the bill is to hope to make it into law. Even if the left claim that the bill is too moderate and the right announce it is too radical, it will be impossible for both sides to be appeased. But that is, but that as it may, a hope has appeared in the form of the right wing of our party. Several de Valeris and hardliner deputies have assured the powers that, that be that should the scope of the struggle and bill be reduced, they were able to help try and tip the balance of the votes in the government's favour. The proposition has proved tempting to those who wish to retain the support of the right within our ruling coalition. However, the same cannot be said for the deputies further to the left, who will undoubtedly feel betrayed by the government's failure to pass the change they believe to be the bare minimum. Passenger's bill may prove to only be short-term victory for the government, which perpetually risks, remains a risk of fraying at the seams. Yes, I want to pass these bills, so I'm going to take the compromises that come with it. The bill passes. Okay, look at that, low pensions. Stability goes up, but our GDP cost goes up. Okay, that that's that passed. Let's go for the IECC bill. If there was one thing in our history that many of us can agree on, that was a mistake, was taking the Germans up on their offer. In due time, we had been shackled to their trade laws and forced into the so-called Einheitspakt. This has led to the disaster for our economy as we no longer have direct control of our government. Instead, the Germans nudge our economy and government to shift their way. One of the consequences that have come along with the Germans is the me mega corporations that have tens of thousands of slaves working in Germany. 
Neil Blaney, the bootlicker, has submitted a bill to the the Erectus. Erectus? I don't know how you say that. He calls it the Irish Economic Cooperation Council. We need to figure out how we can deal with the, with the bill. If we accept it, it will bring us close to Germany. However, if we keep Blaney at bay and he's fifed them and raise our GDP, we need to decide. Oh, this is going to be a harder one to pass by the looks of things. The LP. What? Oh, I don't have the political power to do that. That's not great. That's, 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 not, that's not great. And the power of the right wing is going up. At least on the plus side, we're going to, we're going to pass that. The ILP? Social Democracy? William Wolf won? What the hell? Wimberley is a, is a madman. He's a bloody madman. The armed force will become more unhappy. No, no. That is not what you need to be doing. Oh, boo. That's all I can say to you, Scotland. Boo. No, we're still on schedule for... Yeah, we're still on schedule for February. That's good. Might be a more radical. Uh, the kids swept some guys to their side. Uh, well, that's... That's... Uh, they're they're really not happy with us. At ten sixteen a.m., a large convoy of vehicles came down the suburban street. Four Volkswagen buses uh, came down the street, while well, guarded police vehicles covered the streets beside them. Talking in front of one of the rows of the townhouses, a group of armed men got out of the buses and took positions. Some uh, covered the street side, while others entered the building. This was an extract out of an informant. Uh, there was a good reason to believe had been compromised. Not exactly an unheard of affair for the Northern Irish constabulary in the Protestant neighbourhood but one that, that had to be performed with perfection each time. Every one of these manoeuvres was designed to prevent any unwanted complications and to show the Protestants who were really in charge, because the UVF would take the opportunity to test their defences. And such an incident happened that day. As the informant was being led out of the building, a car full of young men came down the street and was noticed by one of the guards outside the park convoy. That was suspicious, even more so when the right uh, park right next to the convoy, the disabled officers were more than aware of what could come next. When the passengers were the car open, they took no chances. Do you have any weapons? Who are the boys anyways? No matter. There's no time to wait. They jumped in the Volkswagen buses and drove off, leaving the bullet riddle vehicle on the side of the street. Wow. Just wow. Cooperate with them. Okay, the United States going after Guyana. Coalition bickers. On a good day, a well-drafted bill can easily slide through the deal, facing a little opposition on its path through the passage. It's certainly not one of those good days. If we try to speak up on the many benefits this bill would bring, we find ourselves countering the challenge of the economy. Every concession we attempt to make, however, is rejected either by the bill's opposition or its own supporters. The bill's passage, meanwhile, seems no further assured. Oh, come on! Imagine government sucks! <laughs> Unbelievable! You useless buggers! That's all I can say to that. Don't even know what I was going to do to us, but... Uh, maybe we had judged Neil Blaine too harshly at first, it seems. While he may not be the best representative of Ireland in the Einheads back, the IECC bill has created jobs that we desperately needed. No, it didn't! Our GDP has also arisen and should hopefully continue to grow thanks to this new bill. It didn't even pass. Now, rounding the success of the last bill, Blaney has submitted a new one called the State Cooperation Bill. It seems alien alleviate some of the issues that we would have with an increased German presence. It calls for creation of state-owned cartels to control the energy and shipyards of Ireland to make sure the Germans can't get their hands on them. What we heard coming out of Germany, it seems that the whole country is in turmoil. It's probably in our best interest that we pass the bill and make sure Ireland is safe. How did that bill fail? Like, who, who blocked it? Oh, will you go away as well? Yours is pathetic. At least these, the two main guys are high. 
Unbelievable. So that bill failed. You useless buggers. That was the helpers. Unbelievable. So we'll never know what this was going to do for us, but um oh, unbelievable. Can't even do anything to change this. Corporate business. Oh. What happens if I empower them? Absolutely nothing. I have a funny feeling this is going to fail as well. Right, stuff it. We're going into dictatorship. Just let's purge the government and let's go into chaos and anarchy. Oh, for fuck. You're absolutely useless, boys. So we've got the welfare bill in, but nothing to help our economy is going through. Unbelievable. Right, just. Can we just pee off all the paramilitaries and then just cause chaos? Yeah, let's let's um, let's do that and that. They're extremely angry. I bet the right is right doesn't pass either. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother reading this because it's probably going to fail. Uh, his rule of knowledge comes to me quite well. Well, we need to have the exact idea of what goes on inside the zone. We do know that his administration has been serving him well. But in recent weeks, after Blaney has received more clout due to his actions, both the IC bill, see, both bills failed. He's become a local celebrity. How? How has he became a local celebrity? Uh, let's see if I have some economic doom. Not that he's, any of his bills are passing. Increased by 2%. Oh, wow. Bill funded by one mil. Increase the investor approval. Wow, brilliant. It's just a shame that it's probably not going to pass. It's all thanks to Labour. Labour, you're useless. Oh, politics. I can't be bothered with politics. Hurts my brain. Oh, the funding shared between both of those. Ah, I might as well still build an civilian factory. I've still got two mil funding available. I can't wait to start this next bill. Actually, there is none here. In your opinion, it's become less corrupt. Right, the labor protection bill. I hope this fails because let's just let's just purge them. As much as we wished, it was uh, we're other. It were otherwise. The Fianna Fáil does not govern Ireland alone. Having formed a coalition with the Irish Labour Party, massive mistake apparently now since they're just cock blocking everything. It's important that we uh, sometimes take steps to appease them so that they don't believe that our government fail to fall apart. Uh, an issue has recently come to light. It should allow us to keep them happy for now. After a series of deaths caused by an industrial accident at a factory owned by IG Farben, workers have begun to strike after a series of deaths caused by industrial accidents and are demanding safer working conditions. We will oblige them. Oh, it'll probably still fail though. We will propose a bill that will impose safety regulations in these factories, mandating breaks, times, and regular safety inspections to keep the accidents to a minimum. Well, that this might danger a relationship with Germania. It doesn't even matter. They're going to go into civil war soon, anyways. It's better to risk that than have our government fall apart. <sighs> Flipping coalition with this Labour Party. What a silly idea that was. So all the bills really there to help with the economy have been destroyed. They've just been put in the bin, really. So thank you, thank you very much. At least we got, at least we got a, a little investment of one whole million. Uh, get the fuck back! The guard officer swung his bully club at a crowd of angry Protestants, driving them away with the rest of the men. Inspector Dorothy lay on the ground, trying to process what had happened. He'd been trying to take a look at the scene after he helped out with a police car. He was busy trying to take stock of the crime scene when some of the crowd had broken through the police lines and hit him on the back of the head. They'd been kicking up until the point where the guard had saved them. You're right, Inspector, asked Gardner Lieutenant as he ran over. If we hadn't showed up when we did, they prob the bastard probably the, the proddy bastards would have you strung up on a tree. Dorothy took the hand. Wouldn't have blamed them if they did, he said as he pulled himself up. I mean, look at the mess. It's the Battle of Glens Hane Pass here. You can imagine what would be done if something like this happened in Dublin. Indeed, it was a disaster. They'd probably been shot up from the outside, and there were bodies there, hunched over or on the floor. 
one of two people had been unlucky enough to be standing on the sidewalk when the attack happened and they were lying several feet up the road. When we make up with the neighbourhood doctor, he was certain the victim would return out to be frozen, though the police would make sure to check. Before he was attacked, the inspector had just arrived on the scene and was going to start checking the site. Since the population was not going to be cooperative on this one, this case would come down to his analysis. He started by inspecting the site and the shooter started from. Another uh, little investigation begins. But anyways, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I shall be back very soon for another episode. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Bye now.